And uh, what happened to the drone, Stu? It's somewhere, uh, if you saw the DVI, it's... Over there, folks. Now, I don't know if it's that tree, <laughs> if it's the tree behind that or the tree in front. Probably the three worst, if that's like the worst place that it could have crashed. you absolute legends i hope you're having a fantastic day why because you deserve it what we're looking at today it is these batteries from a u line u line however you pronounce it i'm going to link it down below but essentially we're going to be reviewing these batteries and most importantly putting them through its paces and finding out this right here these are lipo packs this one is a lithium iron pack 2600 milliamp hours how does this compare to a 1300 size a lipo are you actually going to get a double the flight time i know there's been a lot of people talking about these so for you endurance people out there you people who might want to be doing some long range you want some crazy long flight times well this is the video for you we're going to be going out to the field flying it around seeing grumpy trev as well we're going to see what the grumpy bugger thinks about these batteries also some predictions how do you think these things are going to go do you think that we're going to get a double the flight time we are flying around this ultralight craft i think it's like the brother hobby hyperbole or something i'll link this down below a review for this should be coming out soon as well we're going to be flying this around putting the batteries through its paces but most importantly back to the field with uh, this bad boy at the 2600 milliamp hour battery now i want you to put your comments down below this 2600 milliamp hour battery coupled with this drone just have a guess right now before we start because the results might surprise you how long do you think we're going to actually fly for so please throw that down in the comments down below that's enough on the bench right it's just some au uh, line batteries whatever they are links down below they're pretty solid they're rock solid but most importantly this bad boy the lithium ion pack let's go have some fun find out how it goes and uh, could this be what we're going to switch to in the future on our long ranges or our lipo is still holding up uh, quite nicely. Let's do it. Have some fun in three, two, one. Oh, oh, here we go, guys. Fire. We're uh, you probably let, let me a few little mishaps here. It's just battery's gone flat on the GoPro anyway, again. And the camera I'm about me. to use his phone so and I didn't <laughs> press the button. So this is take five. You ready? Here we go. Radio out here in the field. Yes, we're having some technical difficulties. We're filming from my phone. I don't know what this is going to sound like. However, today we've been flying around with these U line AU, uh, whatever. These batteries right here, AU line, whatever. What do you think about these, Trev? We've done some 6S, some 4S, some 450s, the thousands, 1500s. Overall, what was your impressions on these batteries? Which one was it? These yeah. orange ones. Oh, these yeah, yeah. Ones. Yeah, they were really good. No, I actually quite uh, surprised at about the, the six air so yeah. they plenty of grunt i thought they did have a yeah a fair bit of punch yeah. i don't know what they're going to be like long term but i guess on first impression just sticking them on some races and free soling rigs very very nice however the main meat of today's video something i'm excited about is this right here this is a 12 no, sorry a 2600 milliamp hour pack uh and look at it it is the same size as about a 1300 however this one is lithium iron this is our standard LiPo. This is uh, offering some crazy energy density and I want to find out just how much longer can we fly with. We're going to be cruising around on a lightweight drone like this. I'll wait for the wind, which is uh, probably going to be... Just got up now, that's good, yeah. <laughs> so waiting for the wind, but yeah, we're going to be cruising around and we're going to find out just how much extra flight time can you get from a pack like this. We'll show you the DVR. You don't get any, get any boring bits. We've got the magic of editing. We're probably going to be sitting here for, I don't know, a fair while because I bet you this goes for a long time. We'll find out, is it worth it getting these batteries? What sort of quad is it for? And are you going to actually get a benefit? Because these don't pr produce as much punch that, uh, as some of these. The discharge rating is a lot lower, uh, which is why I've got a fairly low amp draw quad right here. This is the Brother Hobby Hyper Bowler or something like that. We'll cruise around with this, show you the DVR, show you the good bits thanks to editing, and then we'll jump over and we'll fly with this pack. Trev, before we start, how long do you think that this will fly for on a standard 1300 pack? Oh, standard LiPo? Standard LiPo, probably three minutes, maybe four. All right, I think you're way out. I'm, real, I'm gonna guess, because when I saw the amp drill, I'm gonna guess seven minutes, uh, maybe longer, because it is a very, very lightweight quad. It's under 250 grams, and then uh, I reckon with this one, it's going to be very interesting. But we'll cut back to that. We'll show you the good parts in three, two, one. Boop. 
Radio, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're about to take off. Buzz around, standard lipo. Look at that art. Uh, that I should say the on time at the bottom right hand corner. That's where we're going to start it. So it was already on for a minute and a half, and then we took off. Just take that into account. It's also going to uh, be able to. We're going to start the next battery on that as well, and we're going to cruise around here. So if you look at the amp draw, six amps, sometimes seven amps, sometimes five. Look, it's not the most scientific test. I guess you could probably do that with some AI or something weird. Just cruising around here, very low amp draw. We're trying to see how long can we make a standard lipo fly for we're going to fast forward through this as quick as we can because look no one wants to watch a very very long flight so in about 10 seconds time we're going to jump to the end or show you some crazy editing and then we're going to jump over and have a look at the lithium iron and see if we can get any uh any differences and find out exactly how much longer is that going to go for but i want you to put your uh, guesses down below this standard lipo cruising around at this how long do you think it's going to fly for and then the extended the lithium iron flight how long do you think that's going to fly for as well but let's do it let's cruise around and check the total time on the standard lipo Right, so here we go, cruising around. Looks like warp speed. Keep an eye on the amps in the middle of the screen. So that's at five amps, six amps, seven amps around that. Very, very easy to hover drone. We're doing about a minute per second that you're seeing right here. Keep an eye on the bottom right-hand side. That's how long we've been pretty much in the air for as well. Remember, we started at a minute 30, so I want to make that uh, known as well. And the only way I could really thought to do this, and this is not good battery etiquette, is to run it into the ground, fly it till it fell out of the sky. That was kind of the control between both of these. How long could I fly them for between they before they dropped out of the sky? So see cruising around here the battery is really starting to suffer and its volts are about to massively drop but you can completely understand man this quad has been flying for over 16 minutes on a standard 1300 lipo so how far do you think that a 2600 lipo is going to go so cruising around just here i think we come in and then it's going to cut out it's got no more energy left to give you can see i think we disarm it in just a second going trying to get it back uh going very very flat the total arm time was 16 minutes and 43 seconds which is crazy for a five inch so uh very very interesting stuff i can't see anything because uh, i've had my eyes in here that was the most boring flood i've ever had on the standard lipo on the screen here i know we started at a minute 30 but the actual total arm time is uh 16 minutes and 43 seconds yeah we wrecked a battery well, we flew a battery till it pretty much fell out of the sky. It's all for you guys in science. What do you reckon we're going to get on the next one, Trev? Well, <laughs> I, I, I actually went back home and had lunch while <laughs> you're flying that. Now, also, I tried to keep it between like five and ten amps, right? So that was the. It's not 100% scientific, but look, it's good enough. Let's find out how we're going to go. What do you think we're going to get on the other battery? Well, that we're go and buy that one. I think I better come back tomorrow because half an hour. I reckon you're going to get at least that. A half an hour flight time. Yep. All right, let's do it. All right. Okie dokie, so here we go uh, with the magic of editing. We're going to go through at pretty much warp speed again. You can see I'm just waiting for that minute 30 to keep it sane. We go for a little arm. Here we go flying around. And this is on the lithium iron 4S battery, the 2600 milliamps. So let's put it into warp drive. See just how long do you guys think that we're going to go when flying this around. So uh, let's put it into warp speed. So cruising around about a minute per second, you can see, keep an eye, like I mentioned, in the bottom right hand corner, as well as our amp draw. Now look, this one was a tiny bit heavier, so we're probably around a seven to eight amp average, where the other one was probably six to seven, but as well, the you know, it's a little bit heavier because of that larger capacity. You've got to remember though, 2600 versus a LiPo. Now one part as well, I have no idea what a lithium iron cell totally bottoms out at. So I wasn't sure cruising around. I tried to stop flying over the swimming pool and that sort of stuff. Um, you can see we're coming up a bang, I think, on 16 minutes in just a little bit. We'll do some maths and I'll put it at the end of the screen. But uh, this is where things get a little bit shocking. So remember the other one, it did 16 minutes and 43 seconds right here. I think we have about one more loop and then it's uh, it's not good news, I'm afraid. I thought, man, we might maybe not double. I, was, I wasn't expecting double, but I thought, hey, we might get uh, at least another extra 10 minutes or something because you've got double the capacity of the other one. But it wasn't meant to be now if someone else can explain this in the comments or if i've done something wrong or just what what it was maybe it was that one extra amp over 17 minutes that drew it out just a little bit more but check this out very luck very lucky as well because there's some water and then bop oh we lost the drone so we're going to replay that just that last second so here we go into the tree and you can see a total flight time we're crashing it around the sif six uh, 1750 mark if you have a look which means our flight time if my maths is correct is around the 16 minutes and 20 seconds which uh i think is actually less than our lipo you uh, 
That's second battery, mate. Uh, that's uh, really good. That uh, what was it called? A um... a, a uh, it was the lithium ion. The, I like the battery brand. Yeah. But that lithium ion pack. It's pretty good, wasn't it? Uh, and no. uh, what happened to the drone, Stu? It's somewhere. Uh, if you saw the DVI. It's... Over there, folks. Now I don't know if it's that tree. <laughs> If it's the tree behind that or the tree in front, probably the three worst, if that's like the worst place that it could have crashed. Um, and I'm not going back through the 30 minutes of DVR or whatever is saved onto my sky zones right now. So just in case I format the SD card, because that's the most important part is making you guys see what it performed like. It really didn't feel like it got any better uh, flight time. So it was a little bit heavier and I don't know about that 2600 um, milliamp hours. Just a bit of a letdown to be honest, not suited to drones, it would be great if this falcon up there could just tell us exactly where it is please, but uh, yeah, we will be back and I will finish this video, you guys are lucky because you'll get to see it now, but I'm going to have to come back here later in the week, maybe with some climbing gear or something and see if we can find out exactly where that drone is and finish it, how can I start a video when I, uh, or finish a video when I don't have the actual product to talk about, so. Anyway, we'll be back with the magic of editing, won't we, Trevor? You got yeah, anything to say? That, well, well, I was asleep because it, you know, <laughs> it, it was that it taking that long to fly. It was good. Well, it was going for so long. The yeah. first one was 16 minutes alone, and then we're sitting there. I think it just beat it, like if that. But I'd say that's that's not yeah. a win. If we were recording, we'd have had to bleep stew this particular yeah, time. Yeah, I wasn't happy. Yeah. I wasn't happy. At least it's not underwater. We think. Uh, yeah, but we'll cut back and show you, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, what it looks like in three, two, one. Back. Thank you very much, editing. We're here today. Uh, we've got the wingman Jono in the background. Uh, let's go find that drone that we couldn't find with Trevor. We've got some DVR. I've watched it at home, so I'm going to go see. I think it might have clipped the top of the tree and kept going. So uh, let's see if we can find it. Jono's being nice and COVID safe. Good work, Jono. Yeah. Um, we've lost the drone in the tree. I recorded some DVR and it looked like it clipped the top of one of these trees. There's a lot of trees around here. Over man. here. So we'll see if we can find it. <laughs> All right. And then we'll cut back probably when we do find it. Yeah. <laughs> cut back five hours later. Now, I'm going to check the ground first because I reckon it clipped the top. Like this is one of the trees. It's the one behind this tree. Oh. But I reckon it went across the top and then went into the garden. Oh, hey, is that your drone? <laughs> So it clipped the top of this tree here and uh, it looked like it was on a trajectory. If I had to if I had to guess without the tree interrupting it would have landed here somewhere, but it could also be stuck in the top of that. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Alright, Jono, you reckon you found it? Yep. I reckon, I reckon that's it. Oh how do we not see that? That's directly like right there. Yeah, all I had to do was look up. <laughs> Trevor and I spent so long doing that, yeah. All yeah. Right. So we're gonna go for a climb? No, we've got a uh, pool. Oh, you got tools for that. Yep. I was gonna do it like a savage and just climb up the tree and Nah, like, bro, not with that. And... Not, we don't want to get that shirt dirty. <laughs> a store bought one. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> How long did it take you to make that one? Uh, about 10 seconds. Damn. That's where I've lost my tiny hop. Oh, no. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see if we can get it out without going for a climb. Yeah, bro, we got this. This stick was custom made. Look at this. Right. Oh. And. Hey, there, there we go. We go. Success. See, look at that, Trevor. It's hard to get good help, mate. You're <laughs> blind and useless. Lucky we got Jono here. <laughs> And so in conclusion, oh, you don't know what this video was about, Johnny, but we're talking about these lithium ion batteries. Look, it's uh, I kind of got a, around the same flight time, but I don't know, I'm not sold. Plus the amp draw, you can't draw as much. So just, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend these for a quad anyway. And at this rate, at a low amp draw of six on the quad, uh, I don't even know if I'd use them in wings, but I don't know. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's uh, cut back to the studio in three. Well, what do you reckon about this, Jono? Did, did you have any thoughts about lithium iron? I've thrown you under the spot here. Uh, for long range on wings, yep. absolutely a must. You think so? It is. Yeah. See, I was drawing eight amps, cruising around, got the same time as a LiPo. This got the same time as the 1300 milliamp LiPo. Mm, I, I know for a fact on, on, on 2600. a single motor for your wings, you absolutely want to go with your, your lithium ion packs. Okay, because yeah. of the energy density. Yeah. That's what I thought too. Yeah, it's... um. And, 
and yeah, it's more about like, you know, getting that density out and you don't want high amp draw because you want to be cruising. You know, the wings are doing the work on a wing, not the motors. Yep. So yeah, for, for a long range wing, go for it, I reckon. All right, I'm going to say, I didn't, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, but uh, maybe on some wings, yeah, it might be different. But anyway, all right, let's cut back to the studio or maybe this is the end of the video. Three, two, one, boop. Radio, so there it is. Drone stuck in the tree aside. No drone left behind. Huge shout out to our uh, wingman, Johnny, for coming out with me a couple of days later, helping me get this out of the tree, helping me spot it. Trevor and myself, we couldn't see it. We must have been blind. Came home, checked the DVR, went right. It's definitely that tree. We went back, had a look. First things first, Jono went, oh, there it is. So a uh, big shout out to wingman, Jono. The drone is finally back. Uh, as far as the AU line, U line, whatever they are, link down below these batteries go, I really like them. I would definitely recommend the standard LiPos of these. They've got heaps of punch, they lasted well, they charge up nicely. Definitely make my drones feel like they're gonna be reaching their top speeds. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of those. I'd happily use those all the time to fly around with. As far as the lithium iron pack goes though, don't be expecting that double sort of flight times. I, this has been my feelings for a long time on this sort of lithium iron packs, and I've seen this firsthand when I flew around in Hong Kong with Trappy. He was testing a prototype battery years ago, and uh, we had a look at it, and it was, had, I think it had it on his Oblivion, and that's a fairly low amp draw drone as well. It just can't deliver the current that you need, and also in this case, it didn't even stack up to uh, 2600, it didn't even stack up to double anyway what felt like in the capacity. I know this drone was drawing about one or two amps more using this battery than using the LiPo, but you gotta remember it was a 1300 sized LiPo versus a 2600 LiPo, so something with double the capacity got barely any extra flight time. So look, I'm sure maybe for your long range wing pilots or something like that, I just don't think that they're suited for drones. I know some other people are gonna get really triggered by this, and look, this was just my findings. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that definitely subscribe for more fpv related content i hope you guys have a fantastic day or why because you are awesome you deserve it and uh stay tuned tomorrow we've got our live stream which you can pop uh you can find out in little cards you pop up up here or up here thank you very much youtube other than that subscribe for more fpv related content and as always happy long flying well uh, you know maybe maybe an extra minute or so anyway happy flying